Okay, um, hello everyone. All right, so the fourth program is uh, to is to create a like a, a start pattern, right? So it wants us to create something that looks like this. So so chapter two is more of just printing out stuff. It's it's less of um, you know processing and using loops and actually doing you know the the crazy stuff in programming the the, the detailed stuff in programming. This is this is just printing out stuff. So we're going to use um, just print statement to to design this pretty much print out uh, a series of um, um, asterisks just to have it display this way okay so I'll go ahead and I'll create the class as always public class and I'll call it a star pattern the main method Okay, so <clears throat> we don't need um, any variables or anything. Although you can actually store an asterisk in a variable and keep on um, using them. I'll just go straight to the, the print element statement. I'll just do, you know, this is obvious, but I'll just do it. Um, start design. So system done out that print. Oh, okay, I'll just start with. You know what? We can actually use multiple print element statements. And since the program didn't say that we should use one or multiple, I'll just go ahead and use multiple. And but but again, you can only use one and basically use the new line character to separate and break them on separate lines. But I'll just use multiple print element statements just to, you know, make it look straightforward and organized and you know. But again, you could use the other one. You could use the new line character to break them using one print element statement. So the first one is going to be just an asterisk, not just here. And because of the ln here, which means line, it's going to break it after displaying this. So I'll just go ahead and compile just that. And I'll first save it. Let's navigate to the folder chapter two. All right, I'll save it as, um, just, I'll create a new folder first and save it here. save it okay it compiled well let's see how it displays so far okay so it just displays an asterisk here all right and I'll go ahead and basically copy this line that's all I have to do and then put you know I'm going to put first a space on the left and right of this one just so because that's how it looks like and then I'm going to put three more just so you know this one I like got I compile it and I run it, and then it's it's looking just like this. So I'll just repeat the steps. And I just do it a couple more times, and then I'll fix it later. Oops, what did I do? I didn't copy the whole thing. Okay. Oops. All right, so it's one, three, and I think one on each side. So I'll add one more here. Actually, there's a space here too. Hmm. I think I'm confusing myself. Let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. There. I think there, yeah, there are two spaces on each side of the first one, and then there's one space on each side of the second one. And there's no space on the third one, and then there is. This is basically the the fourth line is basically like the second one, because it's going down. So I'll just copy that, and then I'll hmm, and I'll paste that, and then the last one is also basically like the first one. Yeah. So I think that's it. Well, although this looked like a smaller version of it, but it's it's just like that. So you can you can follow along and do it the same way. The first line has two spaces on the on each side. So if you want to actually make it look like this, all you have to do because you can see you have only one. Let's see, one, two, three. 
Yeah, so to create this actual design, all you have to do is put three spaces on the left, and then I think two spaces here, and then one space here, and then repeat that for the following ones. I, I, I'm sure you get it. So I'll go ahead and I'll run this. I'll compile it first, and then I'll run it. And it displays exactly, you know, the way the way they want they want it. But although it looks like a smaller version of it, though, but it works. You can just m make a bigger version or a smaller version or an even bigger you know, bigger version than than this. So yeah, so that was it. That was that was also you know, straightforward. Okay, so again, if you have any questions, let me know down below, and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you very much for wa watching, and I'll see you in the next program. All right, bye.